What's up guys? This is the Broverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. And in this episode we are going to finish off and destroy the last of the British Empire. Hopefully creating some interesting scenarios in the Americas. Uh, definitely could have been scope for an auto-resolve here. Um, because it's got a bunch of uh, bunch of pikemen coming in. But I think it'd be quite nice to uh, finish off the British Empire in style. So let's take them out. And then soon, barring Savoy, I believe it's Savoy, uh, then we shall be the complete masters of Europe. And the reason why I sound a bit sheepish about that guess is because I have just uh, come back from my time off. It's the uh, 11th of July right now, so I've, I've driven home. I've driven back to... I've driven back to where I live. Um, then I'm recording this now. And I'm going to render and upload it quickly so you guys have something to watch tonight. So, based on the terrain, my gun's going to be back up here firing from a long way off. My infantry is going to be split up. Should really split my... Actually, I might clump my Janissaries together because I've got a weak unit of Israeli on the left. My risk is of souls. My regular troops are going to make their way up through the centre. That's So they're quite weak troops. Um, but the reason why I feel comfortable doing it is because fundamentally we have those risks of souls. Risks of souls are pretty OP. So let's get... These forces pushing up on the, on the right. Okay, so there is their reinforcement line. Well, the bulk of the reinforcements, it looks like. So my Azals can run up. Risks of Souls can make a regular move up. Actually, you know, they all better. We all better run. My artillery is actually not able to shoot at that many useful targets. Yeah. Here come the pikes. So even though I've not... I don't really want to throw cavalry into the mix. I do want to keep it in the action. So we're going to knock out these mortars. My Zars, I want to get them into this house. Anchor these men up to try and hold the right flank of this town, because it looks like they do have some troops coming in. So the sooner we mop up the 49th there, the better. My left flank will be... To be honest, I probably should just abandon this unit of Sereli, because it's a bit more of a, a liability than anything. Get these cavalry to push up towards the uh, towards the artillery. Let's get these weak men in the town. So ideally, I want to push them. Hmm. Ideally, it's that ridge I want to hold. But I'm not going to be able to hold it. Let's get my artillery to focus fire on their regiment of horse. My riskers of souls attack them. My Bashi Bazooks push up. So many that are currently walking, you keep running. My Zars that were going to garrison this town, this building, that's not going to happen. The Zemandari horsemen go knock out the three pounders. We've killed the general with an errant musket shot. Or I might have been the commander of this detachment. Oh no, it was the uh, mortars. So here comes the 4th Regiment of Artillery running up into our sights. Okay, so we definitely do want to push up this flank. So as they start to crest over the hill we can engage them. Let's get my howitzers to keep, my artillery to keep focusing on you would have pikes, you can still engage on the flank. That's good. So 
There we go, so that's knocked out the artillery. So I need to keep my I forgot, I mean, my, my setup's changed. I need to make sure my mouse is further forward so you don't hear all of my clicking. Fundamentally, these pikes aren't going to cause too much of a problem. I mean, General's bodyguard is running. Yeah, they made contact with my Janissary Grenadiers. They are more than welcome to charge in. So let's swing. So my cavalry in, where's my Delhi horsemen? Let's get them involved. Get them to start to chase down some of the pikemen. I don't there's not I don't really have a massive military need to do that, but it's more about making sure they don't form up again. Bodyguards pulled back. That's part of the reason why I never bothered to uh, engage them. So I know, like this placement isn't really optimal, but to be honest, I'm not bothered about stretching out my whole line again to, ma to totally maximise my firepower. Okay, you can probably do somewhere else. Get my general back, actually, there's no sense risking him. Just the Mazars, that's a pretty terrible position for them to engage. They're probably better off shooting at those guys. They're short range troops, but I'm pushing them. Ooh, you've got. You've just fired off one volley. Okay, they've started to rout. Keep mowing down those lovely pikemen. I, mean, I don't anticipate any. Well, I never anticipate any significant challenge here. There is no need to uh, chase down everyone and destroy them. I may as well just keep getting kills to keep my men uh, to keep my men uh, at a higher experience level through getting kills. Especially as lots of these men are actually quite significantly depleted. And getting a couple of chevrons on your general doesn't hurt. But it does improve their. I think it's their melee, melee attack and their morale that it, improve, that it, that, that it improves. 58th is getting shot from all directions, so I don't care how brave they may be. I mean, if they're shooting that way, these guys they don't really care about that because of the lay of the land. But these men have an angle, as do the men to the rear. So, in effect, they're using up their ammo in a fairly futile way. There we go, final retreat. Let's stop my artillery from firing. And let's just end it there. There's no sense mopping them up because Britain has been destroyed. Slice and dice. Britain is dead. So let's take, let's get one of our agents over to here rapidly. Although actually it's completely unnecessary. I don't need, I don't need ministers. I don't need agents. <laughs> I don't need uh, research people. There goes Britain. Britain has been destroyed. And when I say research people, I do mean Eastern scholars. I had a bit of a brain fart there. The Cherokee have arisen because I have freed them from their colonialist yoke. And, Brit and uh, the 13 colonies remains 13 colonies. So following on from that, though, we do have the creation of the, the Ottawa rebels and the Inuit rebels. So we would definitely want to capitalize on that. So let's send a detachment of four infantry, two howitzers. You men march down. 
Let's go and secure Montreal from the native factions. We may, we may as well strike while the iron is hot and push. Montreal can be can be if it, well, it can be a valuable region, but it's mostly about controlling the river that connects Monday, Canada, and America together. So I have no cavalry. We are against Native American factions, but generally with our with our artillery, we should be fine. I'm gonna keep my, my warband. I thought say my warband was going to be my scout element, but it doesn't look like we need a scout element. You should, strictly speaking, be firing shrapnel shot. You should be firing canister shot. Because armed tribesmen, they're not great. Garrisonated warriors are steady. Two garrisonated warriors. Let's get my howitzers to pick them off. Get my artillery to shoot the armed tribesmen. Tent to give the general's bodyguard, really. Heavy cavalry. Boom. Miss. Hit. Hit. Oh my god. That was staggeringly effective. I mean. Do we just advance to put them out of their misery? Bit too far up, but all right. Yep, yeah, just keep engaging them. Are these guys going to get picked off. You men keep a hold up the flank there. You men need to charge and hit. You know, I'm trying to win the flank. Although they are shattered now, so there's no real worries there. You guys will pull back. Let's go man micromanage this combat a bit. So we're getting volleys off from this unit of Israeli. They're shattered. Which means we can now... Do something like this. You look like you outrun my light infantry. Stop doing my artillery. Charge in. Then once we've hit that combat there, well we've got them hit we've hit them on the flank. They should go down fairly easy. I'm gonna keep my uh, Albanian warbands out of the action entirely. They are going to be good, no doubt, and my men are going to be lost easily or quickly. But I think it's better that we swamp them and just engage them on our terms rather than theirs. There we go. We have a solid detachment in command of uh, that region, which I've just forgotten the name of. Montreal. Montreal provides us with another 700 income. In five turns, Fort Frontenac is going to grow, which is this one, which will be turned into a madrasa to help spread the Islamic faith. So we're at peace with 13 colonies, but we're at war with obviously the rebels, at peace with the Huron, so at least holding Montreal provides us with some more security. I might send this sloop down to this part, this bridge here. We're going to raid because it's a trade route, trade route. 
and that's going to help protect my northern colonies from northward expansion from the Iroquois Confederacy. On the other hand, these men here at Antigua, who are replenishing, March. cannot yet leave. But I want to continue my war against the pirates and also take advantage of the fact that now most of cent the uh, Central Caribbean region is owned by pirates. Then over here in the Americas, we've got the Mughals. The Mughals are on the march, but we also have more men marching up. Baghdad nearly has another force completed. We have another force marching from up somewhere up here, don't we? Let's combine these elite troops and march them down towards here. I'm sure we had another army marching from the European theatre that was taking its time. So Anchor has got some troops, but they're going to be they're going to be the core of a new army. So we do need to knock out Turin, but we're not going to do that at the moment. We're warring with the Moroccans, but I would like them to try and take me out because lots of these units would be quite deliciously chewed up in a line battle. Okay, let's embark this agent into that sloop and let's sail them over to India to increase our spy network. Reach, let's also take... Uh, Janissaries might bit much to do that, but let's take a unit of them to go join the Madras force. For now we're going to take a third rate to occupy Cadiz to make sure we don't get surprised by any naval invasions. And obviously we do have Bastia to take as well in due course. This force is at full strength. So what I'm probably going to do is take you guys and sail you over to the Americas. India does need troops, but right now, if we can expand in the Americas, that would be extremely advantageous to us. Do we have? Yes, we do. I was going to say, do we have anywhere we can steal a sloop from just to make sure that Algero stays occupied? And we do. Okay. But when we have no money. So I don't really want to be doing too much warring. So let's hit end turn. All of our gentlemen, not gentlemen, Eastern scholars are on the march to the other university. Oh man, we've got so many armies. That army that's up near Afghanistan, or on the Persian-Afghanistan border, may end up pushing. Yep, so they're already coming after us in Montreal. Morocco is going to attempt to be sneaky. But we're going to withstand an assault here at Tangiers. And what I'm probably going to do is then after this assault Tangier to make sure that that Moroccan stack that's wandering behind our lines is destroyed. So let's do this. Let's knock out the Moroccan army. And then I think we will very much be on our way to, uh, well, freeing up another army to sail, what well, to, to uh, push and attack the uh, the Amer either the Americas or, or India. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is it's quite a nice position back here, but they do have lots of poor quality troops. So let's make Cairo Janissaries be the core of our line. Mix, add some Israeli and Cairo infantry guards on the flanks. Just to see where the uh, enemy decide to form up. There is some potential for shenanigans. Uh, we can, well, judging by the terrain, we've got some interesting options, but let's just form a bit more of a standard fighting position first. Before we know what we've got. I'm not going to unlimber my howitzers yet. Yeah, although I could. Shrapnel will shot those camel nomads if I can do it quickly enough. Fire! 
I don't know, some of them... I mean, I don't know where they were targeting them. I definitely... Attack these guys, oh well. Um, hmm. Do I want to push up? Difficult question. But simply, I think I do. Ultimately, I don't mind if this army gets put through the meat grinder a bit, because we are defeating their garrison, which is the main force that we'd be concerned about anyway. It's quite an aggressive line of advance, but I may as well go aggressive. Keep my cavalry... Actually, there are some men up on the up on the ridge to the on the right. How out is a limber field artillery round shot the enemy. Camels, desert. I mean, desert. The desert warriors and Barbary pirates aren't don't what aren't what worry me. Let's also get my general up into the front line. Let's march them up to the village. Not a great position to engage those camels. But it's the position we have. The series inbound. They're taking their time, and that's going to allow my men to open fire. My Nizam rifles and my camels are going to fall upon their right flank. My, my left flank is pushing up and getting to their forward positions. Push my infantry up. We're charging the Desert Warriors. We're also doing damage to the Camel Nomads. We've got some friendly fire. Let's get my, let's get my field artillery to start knocking a hole in their defences, it's pushed my howitzers up. Where's my camels? Okay, you guys angle against the camel, whilst you guys push up to their central position. You guys can probably stand to do something like this. Nizam rifles charge down to the desert warriors alongside the camels to the rear. So my men will fire onto these troops deployed here while these men clear out the back. We will then also be ready to take out these camel nomads. Actually, let's get these janissaries over to the fort. These men push up with their... These men push up with their flanks set hard against the wall. It's going to stop that too from firing at all. Let's get some of my Janissaries to scale the walls. The Desert Warriors are in this battle, but the Camels have stayed behind. Let's more specifically deploy my men like so. Go. The camels are pushing up on the left flank. We've hit them with a solid volley. They are charging, so you men deploy into square to defend yourselves. Kyrio Janissaries are scaling the walls. These men are ready if these guys seek to try and charge out. Let's bring my cavalry or my mobile elements back. reform my line ready to withstand those camels when they get here. These men push up. Support my flank. 
Barbary pirates are going to get into combat, which is a bit unfortunate, but there we are. But it looks like we are going to... Yeah, those camels are back. They are still back there. You men scale that wall. Push the infantry up on the right flank. Keep my camels moving. It's even Barbary Pirates, even though they look, you know, pretty scary. They aren't actually that good. You guys drop them square again. Push up my flanking force. So we do have the entrance. We have the gatehouse. I'm not bothered about taking it, about charging in. And to be honest, I probably could, but that's a lot of dudes. I want to try and uh, encircle... Well, I have encircled them, really. They can't go anywhere unless they charge up to fight me. What? What? Why have their camels come in from behind me? Well, that's that, I suppose. They're gonna die. You men push up and hit the guns. You guys push up and around there. You guys keep flanking. You guys want to charge my janissaries? You do! Square time. And let's maybe get my general out of here. Get out of there, general. Bodyguard there. You've watched your square formation. These men are pushing out towards the desert warriors. Yeah, you guys take them out. So I want. Now oh, there we go. They've been chased off by my artillery fire. Let's get my camels out to help defeat this camel nomad unit. To be honest, there's actually probably. Run my camels back because there's a unit of Amazons coming in. Stay in square. Just keep advancing past them. More Amazons. Nomad still. Oh, good God. Look at this. So my men are winning. It's just... Too damn many of them. What I'm probably going to do is take you guys, charge the Amazons, you guys start to hightail it back towards the front. Yeah, how annoying is that? They've got a bunch of random troops coming in. All the way right behind me, even though they weren't there on the camping map, but whatever, let's get you guys to charge the camels, let's get the Nizam rifles to come storming back. It does mean that these men might actually end up being lost on the walls. Raw current guards. 
Get you involved in this melee as well. My camels up here likely will not last. To be honest, when these camel nomads are around, these guys need to get in here to support on my men that have already pushed up the wall. And my other cavalry can also start running back. You guys can also run into the fort. So my camels are doing a holding action up here. If I can get my Amazons. Camel Nomads are here. So I might lose a Howard's team, which will be a bit of a bummer. Yeah, I will. What a weird set of circumstances. Why did they come in back? Why did they come in from behind me? Oh well. Let's spin my men around. So my general's bodyguard is fighting their general's bodyguard, but mine outnumbers them. Get my men up there, start doing some fire at will, fire by rank. Then we can start clearing them out. That's my general. How's my general doing? He's doing pretty good. I mean, all my artillery is... Oh, because they've abandoned... They have got they got involved in the combat and now they're hidden. They're just standing there by their guns. So let's get my camels involved because right now they are in a giant scrum they have some camel gunners there but I need to get my camels and to be honest this cavalry my general as well You guys also swarm in, get my Janissary Guardsmen involved. I might be getting picked at. Oh, their camel gunners have intercepted my Janissary, my, uh, my camels. My general has heroically fallen against the Barbary pirates because he keeps getting, kept getting snagged on them. But there we go. There. Morale. There we go. Mass route. Push on. Push everyone on to the, sh to the camel gunners. Everyone down here is falling. These guys have a man stuck on the gate. Or men stuck on the gates, so they can't ever do any they can't really be used for anything other than melee attack because they won't actually follow the uh, the logic. So now I have to charge down and try and slaughter these camels, and then after that, try and attack the city itself. Because my army is battered. Very, very battered. I think that's everyone. Oh. I mean, obviously a unit of Amazons decides to stay. So let's just speed up time. 
43 skirmishes. And that's enough for everyone to go. Oh, can't do anything about them. There we go. Let's end the battle there. But that should be the significant majority of their forces destroyed. Well, they're down to 1,000 men, which can likely be finished off quite simply with a assault on uh, Morocco. My northern northern route towards Afghanistan needs support. A lot of it. Well, uh, yeah, Afghanistan, we need to seal that northern pocket and push up to the river. And in general, just need to keep pouring more and more troops. The Mughals are pushing up to try and steal my technology, but in a handful of turns, they will lose any and all uh, ability to steal my research because we will have no schools. So let's see. Demerara has been blockaded. Firstly, let's go up to okay, Morocco, prepare the government chambers, rebuild. New men replenish, but I'm going to send the bulk of my men up to Upper Canada. Let's also get these territories repairing as well. So you have a small... Uh, that's a fairly big push. Okay, let's maybe send the bulk of my army over towards Montreal. Check our construction. A dry dock in Bergen. Let's get this sloop over to India. And I've also got this army here. Okay, let's take one of these sloops out. Get them into Brest. Embark the army. So right now they are pushing against... They are pushing against my front hard. So what I need to do is give them somewhere else to worry about. Ireland does not need to be garrisoned anymore. There we go. Got a happy little madrasa being built. Let's take... So, we've got one large, aunt, one large navy here at Portsmouth. They will ferry... Well, first of all, let's see, actually. Minus one. Manageable. You men embark at Portsmouth. And this full stack can go over there and help block the continent. Or blockade the continent. Uh, no... Bear sloop to Amsterdam with a full force that does not need to be there. Let's embark and send this sloop over to India. Obviously, we've got the forces up here at Reykjavik. They need replenishing, and then they're going, all going to also be sent over. The forces here at Scotland are also at full strength. Do you? need to be in Scotland. No, you do not. Excellent. So you may get over to Glasgow. And let's get them also over to India. So what's that? Four, five new armies being sent over? That leads you to a trade port. Let's get Glasgow. Recruit a handful of sloops to support the ones being recruited at Brest. So we do have lots of troops down here, which we need to squash Saxony and to free up men. We don't need to do any building there. Let's upgrade the Iron Master's Forge. Here's another. You are going to be redirected 
to the north. Seems too sane. Build a fort. Same with you, actually. So you. So Heden is, is at full strength. So let's take this four. So you need how it's ours, and what you don't need a Felain. So let's swap Felain out for how it's ours. Come on, Mr. Darnett. Let's push you up north. You men sit in Zahedan for now. Can't recruit much except for Afghan hillmen. And this force under Mohammed Sefet push up to try and control this crossing point. Nauru needs a military governor's barracks. But then again, will that actually help? Because we still don't really get good troops anyway. Esfahan. Your job is to keep recruiting detachments of Nizam infantry and sending them up to the front. Fleet arrived. So we've got two fleets over here in the Americas. So. So, so, so. One of you. Sail on. And attack Martinique. And you can. Okay, this proper fleet, proper set of ship, proper ship can go over there. My little sloop. Keep blockading the port. And this other fleet up here. Sail on to Santo Domingo. No, 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 damn it. My stupid right click. Okay, there's army. They've been dropped off. They're marching on to Santo Domingo. Um, that's probably an auto resolve, to be honest. I mean, look at it. <laughs> we put up a good fight. Okay. So you men continue. Major fishery. I'm not. I'm not going to change that. Keep churning out some sloops. To be honest, a fishery isn't. It's not the most efficient from a financial perspective but to be honest Santo Domingo is going to provide us a good amount of wealth anyway so I'm not I'm not overly bothered sugar or coffee what is the best at the moment sugar they're both equals equals. so let's get coffee because we have loads of sugar and we don't really have we don't, do we not have any coffee at all I don't think we do we have cotton furs furs sugar tobacco spices and tea so let's go for coffee Excellent. The fleet arrives. Oh, that's the other fleet that's to the north. Okay, you've already that was the sloop you've recruited previously. Heroic death, Damat Hayadirin. Down here. At Morocco. So let's keep replenishing. Let's get a new general to replace him. Sun Ula Galip. This force of Spain it is definitely going to need replenishment. Let's get some military upgrades to allow Spain to keep recruiting. Let's also get potentially another madrasa. So this guy could slash will march over and take Algiers because I can't stop them. So we do need to attack the city, which is very easy. Which should be very easy. Some of our units are actually a bit hammered. I'm going to keep them separate, really, because I want them to replenish up to full strength. But the bulk of our forces are actually in good strength. Um, hmm. So this army down here by themselves can't really do a lot. So fortify your position. But what I want to do. So right now they can they can pump as many troops as they like up into this area and we can try and bottle them up. But I want to land down here at Arcot and maybe somewhere like Satara. If you provide them multiple areas, they have to respond to multiple 
France, which I don't think they'll be able to do. So let's hop back to Europe and let's tee up this battle. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the assault on Tangier. Cheers, everyone.